<laughs> Halle Berry joins us at the table, and we have to say, this is what Halle Berry looks like. Tight shot of Halle Berry with no sleep. <laughs> because you were up with the baby, you said. You were up That's with the baby. Right. That's the story of my life right now. I know, I, I know, it. but it's the best. It's the best. We'll talk about that in just a second. Let's talk about Extant. Because when I heard Halle Berry's coming to TV, at first I went, what? Then I said she's coming to CBS. I went, yay. And then I heard it was science fiction. I went, hmm. <laughs> so when you read it, you thought what for you, Halle? When I read it, I thought, wow, what an amazing character. And that's what I'm always looking for, a new challenge, something I haven't done before. And when I read it, I thought, this is sci-fi, which yes. sometimes is hard for me too, but because this sci-fi was so rooted in family and grounded and the characters were complicated and deep, I thought, hmm. This could be really wonderful. Well, we all watched it last night, and you left us with such a cliffhanger that I thought, now I want to know what's going to happen. <laughs> but was there a part of you that went, Halle Berry doesn't do TV? Because Halle... people were surprised to hear you were going to come do TV. But Halle Berry <laughs> <laughs> has always done TV. You know what I mean? I've done some great you know, shows with Oprah. Yes, mm -hmm. I've yes, done yes. There's a Watching God, Introducing Dorothy But a Dan. series, you know what I mean. That's yeah, what I mean. But, I, but I think I've never looked at TV as as a negative. As I was doing well in my movie career, I always came back to do television movies. Mm -hmm. I go where the work is. Uh -huh. I go where the characters are. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy now that other people are starting to do the same yes. thing. That medium is sort of, th those lines are blurring. Yeah, right. These 13-week episodes on CBS have been very successful, like Under the Dome last yeah. year. And yeah. this is a new one. And in this first episode, you're an astronaut. You're in space alone. You're there for, what, 13 months. And then you come back and you're pregnant. <laughs> Hello, how does that happen? <laughs> That that's going to be really interesting to you know as that storyline unfolds. What actually happened in space? Is it an alien baby? Got to keep got to watch and find Nora's out. Pushing. It's that's something. Like, it's right? something. That's why it's such a cliffhanger, right, Kim? Yeah. Yes. yeah. And yeah. you don't really, really find catchy. out. You find out, but slowly. It's something that is. It's very mysterious. It's very suspenseful, and there are many twists and turns along the way getting to that resolve as to what actually and happened. And the executive producer is Steven Spielberg. <laughs> wow. I mean. Have you worked with him before? I did a long time ago on the Flintstones, but this is our first time really hands-on working together and collaborating, and he is wonderful. And nobody knows this genre better than Steven Spielberg. So. Of course. Yeah. Hallie, I, this is what I read, that when people approach you at CBS, people were sort of awed by your beauty. I sit here, too, and I've known Hallie a long time, that oh. there are so many people that you go, well, she's not Halle Berry cute, or I wish I was <laughs> Halle Berry cute. Does Halle Berry have an image in her mind about who was your dream girl? Because for so many, and I don't mean to put you on the spot about this, for so many people said, gosh, Halle Berry, you're, the, you're in many, many songs. Do you have, did you have a dream girl growing up that I, I wish I looked like? her. Dorothy Dandridge. Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you? Mm -hmm. Very nice. And then you end up playing her. And then I ended up like that was a real highlight, you know, for my of my career to play her. But she was my early role model. Sure. I remember seeing her on television and seeing a woman like me, my color, on mm -hmm. television and I just was, you know, I was hard pressed to find those images when I was eight, nine, ten years old. And she was very impactful. Yeah. Do you ever have a bad hair day or I just look like crap today? <laughs> Yeah. And what does that look like? <laughs> You've seen those paparazzi shots of me pumping gas, looking like... No. You know, the paparazzi shots, I have to say, let's talk about the paparazzi for a second, because I love the crusade that you've done. I, I saw Jennifer Garner recently, and she said, I was saying, this is so great, what you all have accomplished. Mm. And she said, I put it all on Halle Berry, who sort of led the charge. Mm. That's what she um, said about you. That's nice. So bring us up to date about that and why you were so felt so strongly about this. <clears throat> well, I, that wasn't my first... Um, inkling to try to change the law. I was told I could never do that. So my uh, first inkling was to move. I asked the judge if I could move to France and take my family, all of us, mm -hmm. my daughter's father included, and I thought, we'll do life over there because they already have laws mm -hmm. that protect children. I was marrying a Frenchman. So I thought, this is the way to go. But the judge said no, and I thought, okay, I've been told no. What do I do? Do I sit and cry about it, or do I go do what people have told me I can't do, change the law? Mm -hmm. So I did it because I had no choice. And when you have no choice, you attack something, I think, in a different way. I couldn't take no for an answer because living life in L.A., the way we were living with that crush of paparazzi for my kids just wasn't going to work. Mm -hmm. I remember a very vivid scene at your, at your school, at your daughter's school, where you're in the face of a paparazzi, yeah. in his face telling him to get 
you know, to leave us alone. Mm -hmm. I thought it was such a mama bear move, but so powerful, Hallie, at the time. And, and embarrassing at the same time, because nobody ever wants to go to that place where you are screaming and hollering and yeah. cursing outside and your daughter's school. But I had reached my personal limit that day mm -hmm. of having my daughter be afraid to go to school. I, I, I bottomed out, if you would say, and I, and I went off. Mm -hmm. And that's when I knew I had to move. Yeah. That's when I tried to move. And when things didn't work, finally, I decided I'm going to put all my energy into changing the law. And luckily, how's Sen your life Senator changed? Daly and how different it? is it now? Yeah. I have had no paparazzi since January 1st, since it yeah. went into play. This is, how, this is how different oh, wow. it is. When I flew into New York, I was in the LA airport the other day. Paparazzi ran up. My security guy said she has her baby with her. They said, "Oh, okay, we're sorry," and they walked away. Wow! Like they walked away oh, because I had my child, and that. And you were stunned. I, I was in shock. I thought, "Oh my God, this is working." Yeah. This is. I. We feel so civilized. Especially and when they told you, you it can't be done, Hallie. That's the thing. They told yeah, you it, it can't done. be done. Yeah, Let's done. talk about you have a girl and a boy. I do. And a baby <laughs> How boy. How old is your baby boy? Nine months. Nine months. Yeah. And not sleeping through the night. Not sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, boys are different. <laughs> and one, one other thing I just have to ask you. There were reports that President Obama's oldest daughter, Malia, worked as an intern on the set this year. Did you get to work with her? Huh? Hallie what says, me no speak English. <laughs> <laughs> was she? Of, really? Were you not, well, President Obama's daughter worked on the, on the show? No. Really? Really? No. Oh, okay. The reports were wrong. <laughs> New things every day. <laughs> <laughs> You're not done filming, by the way. No, we go back tomorrow. I go back to work and we start filming our last episode, our, our finale. Okay. Yeah. I can't wait to see how Good it ends because okay. it opens with, it, it opens leaving it's everybody cool intrigued. Huh? Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Congratulations. Hallie, I caught that wink to Gail. <laughs> 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 All right. You can see the premiere of Extant tomorrow night. We've already watched it. It's awesome. It's at 9, 8 central right here on CBS. We got Halle Berry on CBS. <laughs> We're very happy about that.